it's been a minute since y'all seen old Papa on video. Uh, this Saturday evening, it's raining most of the day. I've had to work and the car is not together right now. Uh, man, I sure do want to go race, but we're just not ready. Uh, Got to get the car back together. As y'all know, I had a little op little procedure done on my leg. Took some uh, skin cancer out of my lower leg. I'm doing well. Everything's great now. Uh, just got to get back and swing things. So, uh, cars all tore apart <clears throat> right now. Beating dents out. Uh, got to replace my frame extension on the front. Put a new bumper on it, new nose piece. I got all the parts now, except for the wire strip. Still got to get a wire strip port from Bird. It didn't come in with the other pieces. But anyway, hey, uh, I just got to start getting busy. Race season getting by me, and uh, I ain't been able to run. <laughs> but we can get crunk up, believe me. Had truck trouble, as they all know. I borrowed Tory Barrett's truck couple different weekends to to try to go and pull my car with and i appreciate you tory barrett for helping me out son man not anybody will just let you have a truck of course alan gilris let me have his truck to run my car to tennessee or, or pick it up one i can't remember which but either way he uh he let me have his truck drive up there one time and appreciate him for that and all the help he gives us also at track and at his house he uh man he's our first ever step away but anyway appreciate you tori allen both y'all guys let me borrow your truck i guess we are fixing to uh instead of buying another truck i think we're gonna buy us a motorhome uh be much easier to go racing and have a place to stay if we run a two-day event or what have you and uh some friends of ours that, that uh, races also, Kenny Whitley uh, and Nita Whitley, uh, got a got a motor home that we're looking at buying. If we can just, uh, we got to sit down and just hammer out the final deal on it. And uh, hopefully we can get that done this week. So hopefully... Hopefully I'll have all my all my eggs in the basket after this week and, and we can get crunk up. Maybe have a little good luck to go along with it. That's what I'm hoping for. Got to have some good luck. Hey, in this sport, you need it. But uh, but we can get it crunk up and get it going. And Man, I hope there ain't no slowing us down after that. That's my hope for it anyway. If we, we get crunk up, get going, and, and able to run every week from here on out. But I'm going to get to work. I got some uh, cutting and welding to do. I'm not a welder. I'm going to do the best I can with it. But I got to I gotta weld some mounts and stuff on my uh, frame extension. Got to, from a T-bar up front, I got to weld tiles to bolt the T-bar to it. And I got to cut off some of uh, this pipe over here. And Jason, Jason Bird sent with me when I picked up my bumper from my bumper to slide into that'll be welded to the top of my frame extension oh I gotta cut them off and weld down my own and then uh I'm trying to straighten old t-bar up here in the floor as you see my porta pyre is hooked to it right now y'all that's that's one of the best better investments I made Old Porta Power. It's a Daytona brand Porta Power, and I got the, the the pool hanging there on the press and and the push and you name it. I got the attachment for it. That is a neat little deal right there. Hey, and if y'all, if any of y'all remember this. I'm sure a lot of y'all out there that watches these things remembers that place, Kennedy Raceway. That was actual sign. That was actual sign that said on the highway out there. My brother actually picked that up in the ditch, laying there in the ditch, rotting in away. 
and it was a shame to let it rot away. He says he picked it up many, 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 many years ago. And when he was moving, we was cleaning out a shop, and he asked me, he said, he said, you want that old Kennedy sign? I said, heck yeah, hang it in my shop. So that's what we're doing. Anyway, we're going to get to work on this stuff and see if we can get a little bit done this Saturday afternoon, just getting in for work, give out. Let me tell y'all a little, let me tell y'all a little story real quick. We, uh, we got a female American bully. And that's the sweetest dog you ever seen in your life. Her name's Gemma. And me and Shannon are both crazy about this dog. Grandkids are crazy about this dog. And, and, she, and she's just crazy. But she's about a year and a half old, I guess. Uh, we're her adopted parents, I guess you would say. Uh, of course, we got her when she was five, six weeks old. But anyway, long story short, come in from work Thursday, and she, she was uh, she had a had a bloody discharge, and uh, it's pyro pyro something pyro something is the term I can't really remember. But anyway, long story short, Thursday night we called my nephew. His wife is a vet. And she told us what it was. She said, hey, y'all need to get, you need to get her somebody now. Because it, it'll kill her. So we take her to the emergency vet Thursday night. And the first bill they brought in there for the surgery to be done was going to cost me 2400 and something dollars. And they don't set you up on payments. You got to pay it. You got to pay it then, or they're not doing it. And man, when you love a dog, I mean, what are you going to do? She said, uh, you know, y'all got, what do y'all think? And I said, well, I don't think I like it too well. So what are y'all proposing? And I threw a number at her and she come back again with another invoice. Anyway, long story short, they done the surgery that night. I got about two hours sleep. Had to work all day and all day today. Paid them, I think, a little over sixteen hundred, almost seventeen hundred dollars or so, and we just had to pay them. And uh, had I not wrecked my Camaro and totaled it out and got an insurance check about two weeks ago, I'd have been screwed. Is all I know to say. My little puppy wouldn't have been here. But anyway, y'all just watch along, ride along on this video, see what can't get done today. Okay. You think I'm kidding when I say Shannon cuts all the grass around this yard? I ain't kidding, it's every Sunday. And I got, it's my job to get some, uh, some weed killer to spray the bank. As you see, the bank ain't been sprayed. Cutting all this grass around here. There she is in the front yard, just cutting away. While I'm up here filling with a rack dog. She enjoys it today, so I, I enjoy working on the rack dog. So, uh, it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to get the car unloaded, really. Old shop. Boy, that old shop right there, y'all. My granddaddy built it back in the 30s or 40s, I do imagine. Put together with old skint pine trees. And uh, they're still standing, as you see. A couple of high rods down there to be. 2,500 AC. Come on around. Come on around. And the old process place. Which is now a shop that I cannot get my car in. I need to clean out badly or I can get it in. And I'll be in business. Got me some pretty squash planters and a Hoosier race tire. Tomatoes by the shop. Squash. Another squash. And a squash with a uh, eggplant. Sharing that, that old. Who's your H500? 
That's a good way, guys, if y'all want something to do with your tires. Instead of uh, just letting them here to the highway folks, right? Like right up that little bank right there in the highway you can see coming around the turn. We live right off the side of the road. On a dirt road, uh, born raised here, but as y'all see, when somebody cuts the tire down or y'all wear one out, guys, little gardening tip what you do I need to put some seven dust on these things let's see but what you do is you just uh y'all get off this get off here you know June bugs or something I don't know what it is but I'm gonna spray them anyway long story short you just take your who's your tires do wide you can do narrows or mini stock whatever you got you know that right there looks like pretty good tread must have a good hole in it that one has been a uh, sight pretty good oh you just take that old hoosier tire i'm walking back in sorry guys let me turn this around all right what i was saying about the hoosier tires you uh you basically just take that Hoosier tire and you uh, you cut the uh, cut the sidewall out of one side, leave it another to hold the moisture, the water, and all. Put it on the ground. I put plastic under mine. You ain't got to put plastic under them. Whatever you want to do, you hell you can put on rock for a concern. You can put on asphalt. I don't care. You put your tire down, fill it with topsoil, or you can go dig your dirt, you can buy your dirt, mix it, whatever. Fill it up, and you're ready to plant. Ready to make planter. Ready to make planter out of these babies right here. Now, them ain't ready to plant. All of them, very few of them are new. However, I want to thank my uh, tire sponsor, man. He is, he's kept me on good rubber last year. He's keeping me on good rubber this year. So, uh, man, I appreciate you. And I, along with the mother sponsor, I appreciate every one of you guys. I'm going to tell you, I couldn't do it without you. But, uh, but yeah, I got one individual that don't want, he don't want nothing on the car, don't want a name on the car, nothing else. But, uh, man, I appreciate him. I mean, I... I tell the Lord, I tell him, I tell everybody that I know. I don't tell them his name, but uh, how much I do appreciate him. And uh, it's heartfelt, genuine appreciation, ain't no doubt, because it's hard to do it. It's hard to, hard to race and pay for everything yourself, and I, and I can't. And, uh, you know... I'd love to have a have a new motor in my car. I'd I'd love to hire somebody to do a lot of this work I do. But I can't afford it. And I enjoy it. I do. Hell if I paid everybody to do everything, then I wouldn't have nothing involved. You know? I wouldn't have the same amount of pride in it when it goes right. You know, people like uh Alan Gilrith helps me. Eddie Runyon's his son, Hunter Runyon, so, you know, those guys helped me. And they helped me a ton. See, especially, man, Eddie, Eddie done a ton. Eddie at ER Bodies and Valve has done a ton to my car over this last winter. And I hadn't really got to turn her loose and, and stretch her out yet because, you know, the other night <clears throat> when we raced, uh, Second time setting the car, car felt pretty good. Track got real loose. We over adjusted, loosening it up, and I was just junk. It was driver error, 90% of it. Hadn't been in a car in six, eight months, not to make excuses, cause hey, they some of those guys that can that can get in a car after being out of one for a year or two and, and just drive the wheels off of oh, Well, I ain't one of them drivers, I hate to say. I wish I was. And I am in a degree that it's something that 
if I didn't care and I had no expectations, I'd probably do a lot better. But I care and, and I have great expectations. And I think sometimes that makes it worse on me. I put more pressure and stress on myself to, to perform at the higher level. When I, you know, it's fun, but I just, I pressure myself too much. And I got to get out of that. I got to get back to, hey, it is what it is. And I'm going to get there. But it takes several hours for me to really settle in a groove. It, especially when I'm watching folks drive away, I just over push. And that's what I did the other night. I was running two, three, four cars too deep in the turn. You know, I'd run harder than anybody and, and get less results. So, and when I slowed down, I started moving up. I come from back to pack all the way up to fourth. So, uh, we had a we had a hot rod i just didn't i just didn't drive it right but anyway we're gonna get her back together i'm gonna settle down i'm gonna get i'm gonna get comfortable in the seat and uh and we're gonna get this hot rod back to the front i promise you guys we are y'all just enjoy the ride all right guys tuesday evening just got home from uh i worked on my car some this morning forgot to turn my camera on to be honest with you just just in run pace, trying to get my motor slid over and everything. My motor mount bolts put back on about. I'm down to the bumper, as you see. I got a, I got a weld the uh, braces and all on it. I got to fix these things, the slides on it, the mount where they go to. Get them welded. Uh, Get the nose piece on it, get it adjusted out. So, long story short, I got a long way to go, guys. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get my stand. We're gonna put her on time lapse. I'm gonna lay down some video for y'all. Sorry, I hadn't done better on this time around. My phone had, uh, my storage had storage on the phone was full, and I couldn't video nothing until I deleted a bunch. That's why I've been several days without videoing. Well, now that I got it deleted, I have uh, got out of the habit of videoing over the past several days. And it just slipped my mind when I got to running this morning because I got so much to do. It's hard to remember. Anyway, I got my nose piece put together, new nose piece put together. I've got it, uh, had it trimmed out, hole trimmed out. And my, my piece that Eddie made me is pretty beat up. I'm going to try to make another one. If I can't, the blue one will go in it. Uh, i got to make another top piece, too. Anyway, we can put y'all guys on time lapse so y'all can follow along and uh, see me run around like a chicken with his head cut off because i got about, I don't know, two and a half hours left this evening. And then I still need to set the front end. Do the tow, do the cast camber. I really need to get it weighed out again. Ain't gonna be time to weigh it out. If I can get the rest of it done, that'll be about it this week. Cause I gotta work every day now on. So I don't know if I'll make it this weekend. If I don't, we'll be shooting for next weekend. Story of my life.
all together. I got trim square strip. AC got a new nose on baby. Was able to straighten everything else out. Putting your bumper, putting your frame extension on her. Use the same fender. Had to build a new top piece. It don't look as good as Eddie's. I'll give it that. It ain't rolled up. But I don't have to roll it. And uh, just couldn't do it. Just run out of time. Anyway, uh, I'm going to give you my thoughts on last night's show down there at West Alabama. Real quick. Uh, Shane had a heck of a night, man. I was proud of the boy. He's he has really turned into a damn good wheel man. Uh, if y'all haven't watched him, y'all need to come out and see him. And old Papa, maybe he can get his get his groove back. Uh, but last night, Hunter Runyon's, which he's got to travel over three hours to come down and race with us. Uh, Eddie had both his boys down there racing two cars in street sock. Both of them's fast. Hunter's fast. Uh, Taylor's fast. They're both fast. Anyway, Hunter leading the show. Just a couple laps to go. A lap car had been shown the flag to get out of the way, move over, move high, whatever. He gets up high, Hunter dives under him, and he just cuts the car down on him, from what I've been told. Uh, bent a rim, flattened tire, put Hunter out. Hunter didn't have time. By the time he come off track, he said this lined up and ready to restart. Didn't have time to change it. You know, in my opinion, should have been given the lead back, given a couple of courtesy laps. And uh, he said they didn't go over the tire change in the driver's meeting. He said he didn't hear it. They did not go over it. So I'm not sure on that. But uh, I, just, I just hate it ended like that. I hate it was like that. Uh, the lap car was back to stock car and hadn't been running with us. Now, we got back to stock cars that stay right there with us, and, and they're fine. But if you gonna be, you know, getting loud, not gonna stick with back stop. Just my opinion. You know, until rules change, if it didn't get rules, I guess it is what it is. I made the side run with Lake Mama for one night. When my car totally jumped just to uh, show, you know, just prove point and just say, hey guys, we need to stick our own cloud. But anyway, long story short. Papa was tired as hell. Hot. Going in, get some rest, get some supper. Fix, fix the old man some ice cream. Lay down, get ready for a get ready for a hard week of work. I still got to set the front end, cast the camber toe. I got to weigh the car out because my motor ended up being loose. Motor shifting all over the car, flopping all over the damn thing. And, and that's what had me loose as goose last time we was out with the car. So, And it makes perfect sense. So I need to reweigh the car out and get it right. And uh, once we do that, guys, we're going to get the baby back out there and we're going to do some laps and, and we're going to get back to the front. I promise you that. Oh, uh, Buying a motor home in about a week. That's what we're going to do, a pulling wheel. We're going to come in looking like down Barnum and Bailey Circus, I guess, because motorhome's 40 foot. Trailer's about 20, 28, I guess, with the tongue. So, mm. <laughs> we're going to be about 70 foot worth. Y'all look out. Papa I ain't used to driving nothing that long, but uh, that's what we're going to start pulling with. Uh, that's a dual purpose RV. We can camp in it, take the grandkids, uh, enjoy the beach, go down to Lake Lur Lane, run away from home in, stay at the racetrack, and make these two, three day shows that I can't make now. Looking forward to it. Uh, we'll get it this week. The guys that's got a guy and his wife, they're, uh, they're right now on a cruise. They left today for a cruise. Uh, Kenny, you and uh, Miss Need, y'all have a good time on y'all's cruise. Enjoy yourself. Y'all get back. Need her. Get her cleaned out. 
we're gonna get this thing done and we're gonna hook to her and me and G fixing have us a good time and them grandbabies. We think now but it's a big old time. Grandbabies, puppies, and racing. Don't get no better. Alright guys, I'm gonna get off here. It's time to go in. I'm getting eat up by naps now. I ain't got no shirt on like a fool. It's hot. I'm tired. But I'm done for today. Uh I'm gonna start getting some more videos out. I've cleared a bunch of stuff off my phone, so maybe I'll have a little room to do a little recording now. I couldn't even record the race last night. I deleted off 1,100 something videos and pictures to get the race and the damn thing didn't work. So I don't know, maybe it wasn't deleted yet, who knows. But anyway, I promise y'all I'm gonna get back on top of my game and uh, we're, gonna be, we're gonna be getting y'all some good stuff to look at in the future weeks coming. So y'all tune in, turn somebody on to us, like and subscribe. OG Paul, we out.